I'm more calm today than like a regular day of filming. Shut up, let me finish talking. Coming up on the Real Housewives of New Jersey after show. You haven't all been in the same room for a while. No, since the Ireland par party yeah. at Paul's house. Joe Gora always like maintains his composure. Hopefully Louie does the same. I think he started to lose it in the last few episodes. Advice, uh, Danielle, she doesn't need any because she's authentic to her true self. I would advise Rachel to try to do that. She's a glamorous Tim Burton character. Ah! This is my Christmas morning. The Real Housewives of New Jersey after show starts right now. What are you hoping comes from today? I think they're so far gone. I don't think there's hope for them. Get off of me! 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 I just think all truth will come to light. I don't give a. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope they all leave it out on the table today. You haven't all been in the same room for a while. No, since since Paul's house, since the um, since Paul's the Ireland par party yeah. at Paul's house. I don't think it's going to be nice, but um, I know that Joe Gora always like maintains his composure. So hopefully Louis does the same. I think he started to lose it in the last few episodes. So. Um, I I don't know if he'll maintain his composure, but I hope that they keep it peaceful. I hope they find some way to move forward, not as friends, because I don't think anybody expects that, um, but as, um, you know, really willing to put it behind them and go their separate ways, because I think they're so far gone. I don't think there's hope for them. Um, and uh, I just hope that they, it doesn't turn into a horrible screaming, like, throw down. I hope they all leave it out on the table today. They say what they have to say, and it's the last time they say it. I think there's been some time for emotions to calm down. I've I've spoke to both of them. I've ran into them both today, and it seems like it's a pretty calm setting, and I just am praying that it stays that way. I lit a candle. What's that stuff you Palo use? Santo. The Palo Santo. Sage. And my intentions for nothing but peace for everyone. Even if they don't wind up being close again, at least have peace in your life. Who can really tell what's gonna happen? Anything's possible. I hope and pray for reconciliation. Probably not gonna happen today, but you gotta hope for the best, right? I mean, Teresa seems very zen today. I want to come of it what everybody wants to come of it. I mean, you know, everybody wants resolution. I hope that there's some kind of resolution, you know, whether it's um, agreeing to stay apart or finding a way to make amends, whatever it is, just like a way to move forward. I just wanna, you know, close this chapter and, you know, I wish them well and I just um, wanna be happy. Yeah. I just wanna be happy. Peace is the new sexy, like I've been saying, and I just want that. <laughs> I just want that for my life. I don't think much is gonna come from it, unfortunately. Yeah. I feel like it's gonna be more of the same and that's about it. Jesus, take the wheel. Classy, sassy, and badassy. Slay, slay, and slay. Glamorous, fabulous, lethal. Timeless, elegant, and jerk. Simple, sexy, and cute. Ready, ready, and ready. Trendsetting <laughs> and fierce. My dress is a custom gown made by Kim from Diane and Company. It is beautiful. It is so... Mm. Sexy is just everything that I'm gonna be bringing. Like, don't f with me. So we're doing blue today. Full on, like, queen energy. I kind of wanted to do like a very like editorial bun situation because uh, there's a lot of sequins going on on my dress and I don't want, I play with my hair a lot, guys. I do, we all know that I touch, I touch, I touch. So this has made me free of touching. I did like a really big eye today, lots of lash, so. It's very Melissa Gorga. I've been thinking about this look since the last reunion. So I knew this is the style I wanted to do. The designer, he's from Miami, Wade Allen. I feel like Belle, from Beauty and the Beast. Ball. Ball of the ball. You know, I cut off my hair, fresh new start to a new beginning. I'm going with a little bit of a different vibe that you haven't seen me in yet. It's uh, a little showy, a little sexier than I normally go. It is Giovanni. I wanted to keep her a little sexier on the smoky. makeup because we've been doing her really neutral. So let's step it up and take it a little smokier because it is a pretty smoky season now that Paul is in town. 
<laughs> that's right. That's right. Royalty, being the queen. Everybody has their inner queen, and I advise you to find it and go for it. My dress is very dramatic, so I wanted something to be a little bit more youthful when it comes to my hair. So that's why we did a pony and straight. I'm not really big on shine. Listen, girls, the glow over here and here just makes you look oily. So matte it out and mute it, cause less is more. This look is from a private dress shop in Ridgewood and it is from Dubai. And I just had some nice little jewelry from a family friend. I didn't go nuts, you know, the dress speaks for itself. My reunion look today is just sophisticated, glamour, understated, but with a modern twist. Love Simple that. bun, good. smoky eye, all good to go. My dress is my favorite reunion dress yet, it is Purple, which is a color I never wear. The whole look is very elegant, a little retro, and I am super excited about it. So I got a suggestion in terms of color, and that was that I should wear yellow, which I never thought in a million years would be my color. Bronx and Bonko, which is one of my favorite brands. I hope, I hope my look is elegant. Well, I did have a facelift and a nose job and lost 20 pounds, so youthful. And, uh, I don't pull this one off very well, but sexy. And my nails were um, inspired by Riri and Nicki Minaj. Any advice for the newbies today? Oh, they're getting it so easy. That's all I want to say. My first reunion was human torture. You're wearing red. It matches you. Um. And I just feel like they're gonna have, I mean, not really easy, but they're gonna have a pretty easy first reunion. So God bless them. Advice, uh, Danielle, she doesn't need any because she's authentic to her true self. I would advise Rachel to try to do that and not be such a follower. You know, it'd be good if she like could have her own opinion, but I feel like all her opinions were tainted from the beginning. So it's kind of like she's a lost cause, but maybe she could redeem herself. I don't know. She's a glamorous Tim Burton character though. <laughs> That I know. You know, I feel good. I had a really good night's sleep. I had a chance to watch the episodes over and over and over. I have a lot of questions and I have a lot of answers to give. So I'm really, I'm happy. I'm excited, I'm happy to be here. And I'm looking for some clarity on some things. So we'll see what happens. Be yourself, be authentic, be yourself, be true to who you are. Because you know what? The fans are really smart mm -hmm. and um, they see it all. So, um, so that's it, just be true to who you are and um, it, it, it will shine through. I think the newbies will do great. They should just be authentic to who they are and just I hope they bought their receipts. Everybody has a, their own sort of ax to grind. So, you know, they come at it from their own corner and nobody wants a soldier, but everybody wants support. Nobody's asked me to be their soldier. But you know, people want you to back them up. I was there, I lived it with them. So in terms of advice, um, you know, don't hold back, be honest. But I think I, I tend to be honest and don't hold back, so. Oh, it'll be the easiest reunion you've ever had. It's your first. Just speak up, speak your truth, and um, try to find a way to make peace at the end of it because you gotta be able to be in the same room together. So a couple of housewives said that it's gonna be the longest and most grueling day. It's like all of the days of filming wrapped into one but i am oddly so i'm more calm today than like a regular day of filming this is this is my christmas morning margaret where do you and danielle stand today you know what i could have helped her i could give her great advice she's you know reselling clothes that are in her basement bougie kids i did a beautiful logo for her she had to like you know she doesn't need it she thinks she's above it all. I redid some of your bougie kids logos. So oh, that's you did? I hope that's okay. I had so enjoyed Margaret. Mm -hmm. She helped me with bougie kids. I had no beef with her. Mm -hmm. She sent me a bunch of logos okay. and I picked one mm -hmm. and I, you know, thanked her for it. And I used them for a little bit. Then I hired a marketing team. We revamped everything. Bougie kids looked very homemade. On her website, it was just like three different fonts, like bougie kids, bougie mama. Nothing was consistent. This yeah, is so these so are nice. these are new oh, fonts for you. I know, I love that. So nice of you, thank no, you. No, you're welcome. You know, but she's a mom who worked at home. She's not a graphic artist. You know, I have Lexi, I have a team of people. I've been in licensing a long time. I do amazing branding. So I was like, 
let's think of what's a good tagline for that. And I, and I brainstormed with Lexi and I was like, she doesn't want to change the name. So we just said, for life's luxury littles. You know, that, that makes it sound a little more elevated and fun. Did I you keep the tagline? No. We switched it for little style icons, which is what I had originally. Regardless of what anyone says, I have a very established business. I have a, a large brand that does sell to Walmart. Everyone's like, you know, sorry, everybody wants to sell Walmart. I don't care what anyone says. I'm very blessed.